Hey you guys, I'm back with another video. I'm gonna be doing another gel free, no gel, wash and go. Today I'm gonna be using very infamous products, two infamous products, Mixed Chicks Leave-In Conditioner using Miss Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls. Okay, I've used Mixed Chicks before. I used to use it back in my earlier natural days, but I've heard a lot of things about Miss Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls, and I wanna see what it's gonna do for my hair. So, like I did in my last no gel wash and go i don't know if y'all saw that yet get it but like i did in my last no gel wash and go i already applied some of my leave-in conditioner to my hair so i applied a little bit of the mixed chicks leave-in while i was in the shower so that my curls will be nice and clumped together so i'm gonna go ahead back in and put some more mixed chicks leave in apply more of this because i feel like pillow soft curls just by the name of it i know it's gonna give me pillow soft curls no type of hole whatsoever and mixed chicks does give me a little bit of hold even though it's that leave-in type of leave-in conditioner thing but this is the consistency of it it is very runny not super runny but on but as you can see it provides a good amount of shine to do a wash and go with just the mixed chicks alone in my hair to show you guys another no gel wash and go but that will be for another video when i just talk about mixed chicks alone the thing is both of these products are pricey i got my mixed chicks for 9.99 at tj maxx but it is only a 6.7 fluid ounce bottle and for this product it's 14 dollars normally and then pillow soft curls let me just get to pillow soft curls. Okay, so now moving on to Miss Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls. A wash and go, a fluffy soft curl for people who don't want ramen noodle definition and instead want a larger expanded curl. I'm one of those people. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube who will pair this product with the gel they like and that's something I'm gonna wanna do in the future, but I wanted to see what does this give without a gel? Maybe I might like it. You guys have heard about this product. You already know that it smells like fabric softener. The consistency is similar to the Mix Chicks leave-in. Glides nicely onto my hair. I'm trying not to run my fingers through my hair too much because I want to keep my curls clumped. When did I break the darn cap? Y'all are charging $22 for caps that break easily. See that? Thank you. 
far, I could see this being a wash and go. I thought it was actually gonna be way more poofier than this, and this could be because I used the Mixed Chicks Leave-In in combination. Cause the Mixed Chicks Leave-In, I really need to do a wash and go with that on its own because she can stand on its own, on her own. She definitely, I definitely wanna see what this looks like when it dries. So I think I'm actually gonna sit under the dryer for this. I'm gonna try to sit under it with cool air and see if that makes a difference rather than sitting with hot air and hopefully that won't make my hair shrink up too much. So I'll come back to you guys once my hair is dry. Hey y'all, so quick update. I let my hair air dry for a little bit and then I sat under the hooded dryer. So this is what my hair looks like for the most part dried. Um, in the back, it's still kind of wet and damp a little bit, just like in the root part, but it should be fine but you guys look at this this looks really good for no gel and i have quite a bit of volume so i'm interested to see what this looks like and how it will hold up when i blow dry it because i am going to still stretch this out tomorrow because i'm not i'm not doing anything else with this today okay you guys so i am back it is actually the third day. It's the third day. I did not stretch my hair at all. And you guys, I can't believe this is third day hair using absolutely no gel. Look at the definition that I still have. There's definition, but it's still voluminous at the same time. So all I did was band my hair. Today, I'm actually gonna go ahead and stretch my hair out spray my Jane Carter Shine On Elixir. Stretch it out, but let me just show y'all. Like there is some good curl definition in here. I mean, can we say volume? Like, yes, wow. Okay, you guys know the drill. I'm gonna put makeup on while my edge is set. Come back, give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, so I'm back. Here are my final results and I must say for third day hair, no gel, this looks pretty good. I'm very happy with my results. My hair feels softer since I sprayed the Jane Carter mist that I always use. Give you all a little close up. I mean, there's frizz, but it's like, to me, this is frizz that I would have gotten even if I used a gel on the third day. It's definitely better than the first no gel wash and go that I did, the one with the um, Talia Wahi Curly Curl Cream. I feel like I have way more definition and the hold was a lot better in this combination. So let me just go straight into the product. The Mixed Chicks Leave-In, honestly, I feel like this is what really gave my hair the longevity and the definition that it has because this is what gave my hair the hold. And I know that because I've used this product before alone by itself back in the day. I don't know if I mentioned that in the beginning of this video, but I've used this before by itself and I know that I can use it alone and it will give me holds. So give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see me do a wash and go with mixed chicks, only mixed chicks in my hair. If y'all haven't tried mixed chicks, go ahead and give it a try. Oh my gosh. So I got this a while ago back at TJ Maxx and I was gonna say go to TJ Maxx and try to get it, but I'm pretty sure that they're not open because it's not essential. So, sorry guys, I'm sorry. You might have to order this online from Target or something like that. I know it's available at Target and you may have to pay full price for it. Overall though, love this leave-in conditioner. I don't think 
you I don't think you should use it necessarily for moisture I think it's more so just like a one product wash and go type of thing or if you don't want to use a gel in your wash and go and you want to pair this with like a moisturizing cream then you should go ahead and use this because I've done a wash and go with this and the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie and it was like a perfect no gel wash and go now I think what gave my hair this voluminous look is the pillow soft curls from miss jessie's now this i really don't think well to be honest with you i don't really know i don't know if this can stand alone without the help of the mixed chicks leave-in conditioner i do think that it's the product that contributed to how big my hair is how voluminous and big the curls are because that's what it claims to do my only con that I have for this product is the smell. It doesn't smell bad, but it is very strong and it lingers in your hair. It lingers throughout the house. It lingers in whatever room you were using it in. So if you do not like the smell of fabric softener, I'm gonna tell you right now, don't get this product. Also comment down below if you guys wanna see me just use Pillow Soft Curls alone to see if I can get a good wash and go from it. I honestly don't think I'm gonna get a wash and go that I'm going to have for a long time like i feel like it might last for a day or two maybe i feel like this product is a great uh, as a topper or an accessory if you will to your wash and go like if you want to just use it as like a, a special ingredient that gives your hair like a va va boom voluminous i don't know like, i don't think that's something that i would tell you to go out and buy to use on its own if you have hair like mine now if your hair is very fine and thin i say get pillow soft curls if you have a looser curl pattern try pillow soft curls on its own by itself like if your hair gets weighed down easily from product in general try pillow soft curls to use other than that if your hair is like mine i wouldn't necessarily go out and buy it with the intention of using it for a one product wash and go unless you're going for this look on the first day and you expect to only make it last for a first day but because this product is 22 dollars, i don't want it to only last for one day so i really want to pair this with a good gel to see if i can get the look or feel of pillow soft curls while also still having hold and i know that defeats the purpose of the product but i feel like combining it with something that is going to give my hair some longevity might be really good because i've seen a lot of people do videos with this product and they pair it with a gel or they pair it with another leave-in that's what i feel about that however i do feel like this is the easiest wash and go i've ever done best gel free wash and go i've ever done the volume is crazy like look how big my hair is and the fact that this is third day hair third day hair you guys so i want to see how long i can go that's how i feel about those two products comment down below what you guys want to see do you guys want me to do a wash and go with just mixed chicks or a wash and go with just pillow soft curls do you guys want to see more wash and goes with me using these products let me know down in the comments give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more wash and goes with these products or in combination with other stuff also give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful and if you enjoyed it also thank you guys for coming to this video subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i will see you all in my next one